everybody to uh, everybody can answer for the same. Uh, basically, just from what I have told you, what I have, some of us are very, uh, in, uh, we are very interested in knowing what was the TP report. Investigation report. Investigation report. TP report. Everybody knows this report. Uh, you mean the police investigation? No, there was no third party in the world. Yeah, yes. Yo, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Interestingly, the third party claim was also filed in third city. And it is that time that the policies were not on computer. So the other city branch had written to this branch for DO to confirm 64 VD. It was manually. So, the procedure of the insurance company is only to see the uh, premium register and confirm that 64 BB is compliant. Whereas, principally, they should have cancelled the policy once the vehicle is uh, declared as stolen. That would have been done also. But that is a limited in the claim file. That will not come into claim register, uh, premium register. So even that claim was uh, uh, made and paid off. I think uh, you got the an answer. In the second claim, you have said that Jeep, Jeep. the theft claim was paid. After six months, they have received a letter of the fraud, they were informed that the fraud claim. After that, they were given uh, you to the investigator claim. No. In, the, in the investigation, that investigation report, what is the uh, report? Maybe. They don't know that report has been, uh, the claim was paid and afterwards. Uh, yeah, in that claim, we don't know the investigation my, report. My, my part of investigation was limited to find out the theft clause. As far as the third party investigation was not assigned to me, nor I knew at that moment when I submitted my report. But since I was keeping a track on that file, that I wanted to know that how the insurance company is going to be. So I came to know that there is a third party claim in Gurgaon. See, the, the theft has still, uh, police report was written in Faridabad district. The third party claim happened in no district. And third party claim was raised in Gurgaon. So that part, since I was not in my knowledge, at the time of my submitting report on theft claim, I came to know of that much later and since it was not a part of my uh, investigation, I didn't mention anything in my report on third party. Hello. My question is precise. Uh, physically challenged logo ko license mil tai change changes karke apne vehicle mein in mere carriers. Koi se ye retina pigmentation mein लाइसेंस ले सकते हैं क्या रेटिना पिगमेंटेशन जिसमें रेटिना मतलब रात जो रात को नहीं दिखता है ऐसे वालों को नहीं है रेटिना पिगमेंटेशन ऐसा डिसीज है नॉट इट इज नॉट क्यूरेबल बट ही कैन सी ऑन ब्रॉड लाइट बट ही कांट सी सम लो लाइट इफ वी डिक्लेयर दैट वी हैव रेटिना पिगमेंटेशन देन कैन वी गेट द लाइसेंस ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस uh, can you open the Google form for form 1 and form 1A? Form, uh, form 1 and form 1A. In RDO? Uh, <coughs> not RDO, send to motor rental rules. Okay. Hmm? I will see. Uh, then we discuss. Hmm. See, uh, I got one more question for Mr. Sasaka Sai. Yes, the subject of Mr. Sasaka is very interesting and it is day to day business we have to face at. See, there were black history vehicles. Black history vehicles by the RPO and force of the traffic overrun. And it is by Okay, 
वेदर ब्लैकलिस्टिंग रीजन आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी रिफाइंड नॉर्मली ब्लैकलिस्टिंग इज डन फॉर सोलर मेकर सम केसेस आर पेंडिंग माइट बी डिमांड फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द अथॉरिटी लाइक रेवेन्यू एक्साइज इवन रेस्टिंग डिपार्टमेंट सो वी हैव टू वेरीफाई व्हाट इज द basically whenever the wanted note is kept as a from the investigator side he has to see for what cause it is being kept and previously uh, 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 that is thing might be due to the uh, transaction uh, between the two parties okay objection why the owner or owners uh, financer और ओनर का डेथ हो गया तो उसको जो एसेसर है वो भी वॉन्टेड लेते हैं तो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट फॉर व्हाट पर्पस द वॉन्टेड नोट इज टेकन इफ वॉन्टेड नोट इज टेकन फॉर द रीजन ऑफ व्हीकल फ्लाइंग विदाउट फिटनेस इन सच केसेस यू कैन आस्क टू द यू कैन रिकमेंड द कंपनी नॉट टू गिव अगेन इफ इट इज फॉर एनी अदर रीजन Where normally we do not consider that reason for the purpose of sanctioning or refusing the claim, you don't bother about the one report. Please, please. Second thing, the the recently the court has given some guidelines to take the one report note when they can take the one report note. Basically, after the each hour. The owners are not coming for uh, com uh, compounding the offences, and the RTO is RTO or police authorities are not forwarding it to the court. So in this case, taking of content note is illegal. Because the court uh, uh, taking blacklist <coughs> is illegal. Because the judgment passed away. So in such cases, we should uh, we should first ask the insurer to clear that matter, and then not necessary. Then without the, you you <coughs> get the information from the RTO for what purpose it has been blacklisted. Okay. But sometimes it is not blacklisted. Right. Insurer says, okay, I will remove that tag. This is very old. It will be a fine or something. So and then or if there is those, some of the some of the chat. Yeah. And second.
he is been prevented from driving unless and until an order has been passed for suspension or cancellation of that license. If it is suspension, the period from two. Then and then only for that particular period of three months or six months, the license will become invalid. Okay. That means from 21 to 23 is valid to valid. Second thing, second thing, uh, in case of uh, accident and in case of drink and driving, the law says that the driver has to undergo retraining for revival of that license. So in that case, uh, if the license is suspended, then till the driver submits the certificate of retraining, it will not be revalidated. So the actual part lies on the driver. So uh, from 21 to 23 license is valid. Or the reason, reason you have to understand. Second thing, Without uh, keeping the head to your head, you just write a letter. Please uh, give us a certificate regarding the validity of the license. Sir, that's one more question. Adding to this one saying. The, the RTO has to give the reasons, give the statement that yes, for this reason, <coughs> it is suspended, it is blacklisted. Only blacklisting will not uh, be uh, uh, will not make the license invalid. Take it. You, can, you can take an example also for the same. Yes, yes. 
We will take the example of the second case of the jeep. Now, the jeep was stolen and after the claim was paid, then a lot of things were post-mortem, mein sab kuch pata chal jata hai. Lekin before we know something, uh, I, if I had given that uh, thing uh, to do, it would have been, I would have gone step by step. Why the police has not gone deep into the thing? Why <coughs> this is not reported? As the B report being given in the first case, as uh, why the B report is not given the, before the B report, why the case has been sorted? So we think in that direction. But our uh, industry, the security industry, we go in a different perspective. We always ask our boys, correctly, my dear colleagues, if I am wrong, we always ask proof character. <coughs> What is the proof you have? Have you checked the CCTV camera? Have you checked uh, the in and out the register? Have you checked the quantity, what came in and the quantity, what went and the quantity which goes for work out of the factory and comes back after the work uh, of that material which goes out and comes back? These are all small things but it uh, requires rigorous maintenance of register, rigorous maintenance of uh, watching or uh, monitoring of CCTV and devices. And we always say that if you just put a camera, it doesn't solve anything. It is just a deterrent. We need to make sure that it is monitored properly. We should make sure that whenever the alarm is raised, make sure that our quick response team, majority of our employees is having quick response for example, SRS yes, has a quick response yes. So these kind of things uh, are done. But going specifically into what question you have asked, I might not be able to answer it because that would I give it to you guys who are the masters and investigators that it. No, 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 see, you, go, you answered my half question. Okay, how you told me that you rely on your time, your person who was there, as a security person, who was actually <laughs> there, actually he's a nurse. He's a solid nurse for us, suppose, isn't it? Other who's the decay. उसने चोरी करते देखा है वही उससे चीज में कैप्चर हुआ लेकिन इस पर कैसे इसलोग नहीं चाहिए बस बट ही तो आई डिस कैसे तो बट हाउ यू कैन रिप्लेस दैट पर्सन कैसे तो उसे इधर नहीं जगह सब आप बात करेंगे इधर इधर मिस्टर शंकर इन्हें तो कौन है ये कि वेलनोर यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग सिक्योरिटी तू सम कंपनी and some uh, incidents of work, like uh, theft or uh, whatever, some offenses there. Then my suggestion is what can you do? You will not should come into a conflict of interest. You avoid an independent agency of investigator to investigate because you are also the affected party of it. And there should not be the conflict of in, uh, interest between the company because you are also a service provider for security of that company. And uh, if suppose there is a uh, incident has happened because of lapses of security, then you it is a human tendency. Then you will try to uh, hide something, or you will misrepresent to the uh, to the company. So that's why I am uh, suggesting we always appoint an independent agency if you are really interested in getting the truth. So it is better idea to appoint an independent agency and. To get it investigated. You are absolutely correct, uh, Mrs. Jagasan. That is how we as an industry is looking at it, and that is how we are working on it. And there was time when uh, everything, the chori bhi hoi karta tha, or report bhi bhi leta tha, or sada bhi hoi karta tha. So all those things were happening, but lately things have changed uh, in a very uh, interesting way. And to come back to your question, where you said that a security guard has witnessed a thing. And why the Dutch can't make another thing? See, the second personal, let us say, uh, it goes this way. If you don't have any job, then you have to do the job of the security job. So for him, it's a livelihood. For a security guard, it's a livelihood that he earns so much of money for one and he takes it home and he gives it to his family. It's something like that. Now, if you have seen it, 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 तो मुझे क्या वो नौकरी से निकाल देगी तो मुझे नौकरी से निकाल देगी तो सैलरी में क्या लेके जाऊंगा
issue for a security agency also to do. But majority of the time, the field officer who looks after the security personnel of that particular unit or the area of the security officer of that unit will be able to console, consolidate and make it work. And make it work. And see, we as a security industry have evolved over a period of time. <coughs> Our security industry, see, we were called as Chokidas. Then after Chokidas, we came into a, a licensing mode wherein we were called as security. It's a that our security guard didn't say that we were going to go to a house, so we were going to go to So something like that. But there was not, there was a time when girls didn't get married. We were going to go to a I am very proud to say that uh, one of the uh, directors, the day before yesterday, was sharing, and one of the company people who are here in the morning from DCS, believe me, my dear friends, they give 34,000 rupees takeaway for one guard per month, take home salary. 34,000 rupees. So we have evolved. This time, uh, evolution So then the pattern emerges. See, I cannot run a security agency these days in Karnataka without any system. And uh, without that license, I can't deploy a lot of things. Similarly, we have to do that licensing in the same practice as we told right there, that we have to be regulated. And to be regulated, we have to propose it to the government. And then, uh, that's why I'm trying to relate. This is the other thing, this is the other thing. Yeah. So all those things have to be looked at and looked into and learned from the industry, the security industry. See, yes, uh, coming from the background of security industry, we always would love to be an investigator, be it, because that falls into our bracket also. Maybe not in the insurance sector as you guys are masters in that, but in shadowing, but in providing uh, other data services or corporate investigation, private investigation or matrimonial uh, investigation. See, all these things we are actually like very capable of doing it, but education is very good, that is why I want to stress on that. Very good. Again, I have uh, come across some cases that when there is a threat uh, company come to police, the very first thing police is finding who was the security guard. And uh, for a day or two or three days, they start hitting the security guard. So when we go for investigation, first of all, uh, we are checking the psychology of uh, that uh, security guard and what he is saying and what is, uh, is happening in his mind. So that is psychology. So we are coming to the conclusion that this security guard is innocent, don't hit him. So it is happening, happened with me that I have security guard, who is a poor guy, he can't say anything. You use police power to kill him for three days. What you have of him? And that if you are hitting the security guard for last three days, that means you are losing your golden time of investigation and uh, catching the real thing. Wo to kaan se kaan chala so to last usko ke baad mein kar do, to kuch hai. So it is better you keep him in the custody, but don't hit because usse usko confidence lose hoga. Aur jo information aapko fruitful information dene wala hai, wo bhi nahi dega aapko dar ke maare. So, you have to console him, you have to confidence him. Then, you have to say that when we have to do this, when we have to ask questions from the mouth, then you have to do it so much that he will go to the bed. And then, you start to emotionally respond to him, that he is emotionally exploited. So, when you have to emotionally exploit him, then you have to tell him everything. For this, I will tell you about one minute, but I will tell you about it. क्राइम ब्रांच ने एक वहीकल चोर को अरेस्ट किया और उसको पुलिस कस्टडी में रख के पूरा रिमांड का पीरियड उसको मार रहे हैं मार रहे हैं लेकिन कुछ है ना मिल नहीं रहा तो एक दिन उसका मैं उधर गया क्राइम ब्रांच में मेरा कुछ काम था तो उसको लगा कि ये भी कोई साहब आया अभी मेरे को ये भी मारेगा और मुझसे कुछ पूछेगा तो मैं बोला नहीं मेरे को कुछ पूछना नहीं है तो इतने उसके वाइफ आई उधर होते हुए अब वो नहीं तू तो इधर आदेश चोर के बैठ गया लेकिन बच्चे को घर में देखे खाना नहीं है पीना नहीं है उसको दूध नहीं मिल रहा है तो शी वाज ट्राइंग तो मीनटाइम मैं पुलिस वाले से बोला सर एक एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं आप तो उसको सात दिन से मार रहे हैं लेकिन कुछ मिल नहीं है तो उसे क्या करेगा नॉलेज लेट्स सी 
तो मैंने उसको जाके पांच हजार रुपये दे दिया पर मैं बोला ये जाओ सिस्टर आप अपना है ना घर का ये जो जो भी खर्चा है राशन वगैरह ले लो दूध वगैरह ले लो तो वो जो चोर था ये देखने के बाद में इतना रोने लगा तो पुलिस वाले को बोलता है वो साहब को जरा मुझे भेज दो तो मैं गया उसके पास साथ में मेरे साथ में एक पुलिस वाला भी था बोलता है सर आप पेन एंड पेपर लेके आओ गए उसके पास पेन पेपर लेने के बाद में ही हैज गिवन कन्फेशन ऑफ वन जीरो सिक्स वेकर्स कि वो मैंने इधर बेचा वो मैंने उधर बेचा वो मैंने इधर बेचा वो मैंने वहाँ से उठाया सो दिस वॉज द फैक्ट इट वॉज हैपन इन आवर येलो गेट क्राइम ब्रांच ऑफिस तो सर पुलिस वाले बोलते हैं कि यू आर वेरी गुड इन्वेस्टिगेटर बिकॉज यू आर फाइंडिंग प्लेइंग विद द साइकोलॉजी ऑफ दैट पर्सन जब उसका वाले करके रो रहा है आपने उसको से फाइव थाउजेंड दिया तो हम लोग उसको सात दिन से मार रहे हैं और ये मार खा रहे हैं आराम से सो दिस इज द थिंग कि हमेशा किसी को मारने से ये ट्रूथ मिलेगा ये जरूरी नहीं है तो ये मैं एक एग्जाम्पल इसके लिए कहा कि बींग एन इन्वेस्टिगेटर हम लोगों को उसका ह्यूमन टेंडेंसी उसका साइकोलॉजी भी पढ़ने आना चाहिए I think Mr. Jagdeep stories are very good. I am very excited. It, it should be inspiring to each a new comer in this field. And no doubt, most senior people have same ideology. The same way both are talking. What sir told us regarding the first incident that we should have a sympathetic, sympathetic uh, uh, thinking. When we should, uh, when we are assessing uh, the award, uh, when we are judging someone, I think uh, both have got the same uh, uh, this one idea. Is that what I said? That's it. Very good. Well. One more small thing I need to add to what Mr. Chandra has said. Whenever judging the unit, I mean, the unit, I mean, the industry, the office, which only happens, the first person the police calls is a security agency. Ah, yeah, we are done. Whoever is providing security agency is called the police, and वो जो guards का documents लेके आओ, जब आते हो ना, जिस तरह जैसे ही ten guards are deployed there, five in the day and five in the night, उसका documents लेके आओ, केवल इसी documents लेके आओ. Believe me, after the regulations are done, eighty to ninety percent of all the security agencies who are providing the security, at least in Karnataka and especially in Bangalore. Are very very well versed with keeping KYC documents of all the employees of their agencies, of their respective agencies. जैसे पुलिस हमें बुलाते हैं स्टेशन में, हमारा लड़का जब जाता है वहाँ पे, वो मोबाइल पे लेके जाता है सर आपको क्या चाहिए? इतना ही इतना चलो फट फट फट. See we are all so computerized these days that all the things are KYC documents and every details, उसका बाप का नाम, गांव का नाम, गांव का नेबर का details, everything is registered. And said, and WhatsApp में फटक चला जाता है इसलिए। So the first thing line of defence को बोलता है ना, तो इस अर्थ में भी ना तो कोस्ट टाइम से टू लगा। Yes, data analysis and data keeping is a very very important part of business। जब आप security guard को ही employ करते हैं, तो उसका गांव का या उसका address वगैरह सब verify करते हैं क्या? हाँ, ठीक है आप करते हैं। Physically नहीं करते हैं कैसे करते हैं? What we do is we go to the nearest police station and we give a uh, application saying that this has to be verified. Now, for example, that is done for an employee who comes to comes from us from this state. Now, if he or she comes from another state, we can always write to the other states. And there are other provisions these days. There are either private nodal agencies. That is police verification. That is police verification. That is police every department verification. There are other nodal agencies who give us a, a background verification in a privately. They do via this KYC, like credit card or this kind of stuff. So I am giving you a very simple idea. आपको police verification की भी जरूरत नहीं है, पर उसके agency की भी जरूरत नहीं है, even it is against the law. आप से hundred rupees का money order करते थे, वो postman है ना automatically उसको verify करता है. तो हंड्रेड रुपीस का एक मशीन है जब आप करते हैं तो पोस्टमास्टर वहाँ जाता है और जब तक उसका कंसर्न पर्सन नहीं होगा उसको वो हंड्रेड रुपीस देता नहीं तो आप अगर वो एक्सेप्ट हो जाता है तो डेट मींस व्हाटेवर एड्रेस इज गिवन व्हाटेवर डिटेल्स आर गिवन इट इज ट्रू अगर वो हंड्रेड रुपीस आपका आता है
around 1997-98, it was initially started in uh, Andhra. It, this was was current history tales. But if we go beyond that, even Maharashtra government has uh, brought sleeper coal buses in long back in 1970. So, uh, but uh, viability doesn't take place with the minimum city that so that why it works uh, now uh, the CMR I have told you motor vehicle act central motor vehicle rule state rule and AIS uh, automotive Indian standard so automotive Indian standard has been made with the help of all the manufacturers, the users, as well as VI uh, standards. So, sleeper coach has been accepted by AI standard, and not only sleeper coach, the combination of <coughs> sleeper and sleeper has also been accepted. So, AC and non AC sleeper coaches have been defined in the AI standard, and uh, only thing that there are two code have been brought for the acceptance. One is acceleration of the body builder. Jo bhi body build karna chahta hai, uska jo workshop hai, it should be certified work. And secondly, the drawing. What the drawing is the structural design. He has to submit to the testing agency. Uh, up to 250 numbers, it will be done on that drive. Usse usko jada production karna hai, to usko uska gari jo hai, wo produce testing agency ke pas produce karna chahiye. Uske baad that prototype will be approved and then manufacturing will be continuously allowed. Like ACGL, ha, ACGL body building etc. Then I will continue with the old question of uh, that uh, uh, medical certificate. Uh, in form number, in form one, it has been given that the self declaration is there. Uh, whether you can see by each eye, each eye, uh, by, by each eye. So, that form has been modified. So, any eye is going to be there. So, mono, which is single eye, is going to be there. उसको भी लाइसेंस देने का तो तू दाया है वो अमेंडेड पाव भी मेरे पास नहीं है लेकिन एस पर तो वोल्ड पाव डी ड्राइवर हैज टू आईडेंटिफाई डी ग्रीन एंड रेड लाइट इफ ही इज अनेबल टू आईडेंटिफाई ही विल मेंशन नो एंड इफ दैट क्वेश्चन इज आंसर नो बाय डी एप्लिकेंट देन ही हैज नो राइट टू टेक द uh, central government to enable the physically handicapped people to have a mobility. So uh, I will just re verify whether there is any relaxation <coughs> given. Otherwise, as of today, uh, based on the self declaration, and if the officer feels that he is not able to recognize it, he may ask the color combination to be verified and he will recommend to bring the medical certificate and if the uh, <coughs> applicant fails to produce the medical certificate he will not able to apply for the driving license but but as for the non transport vehicle the medical certificate is not compulsory there is a chance of getting the license on first people over 70 years, over 70 years of the Indian Supreme to take a license. I am a, I am a driving license. Now, after 70. 7017. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. Self declaration is okay. Self declaration is okay, but even my license I got without medical test. How it happens, everybody knows. Okay. 
here soft fraud is going on like i know person who he have uh, artificial eye one side and he can't see divider but al always he dash to the divider okay two three times i got his claim are tera divider ka hi kaisa claim aa jata hai aur har claim mein claim form mein hamara ek column rehta hai ki iske pehle kuch apne iska kiya hai kya to no hi rehta hai sabke taraf actually kuch likhte bhi nahi hai तो वो सॉफ्ट फ्रॉड में ऐसे इंश्योरेंस कंपनी को बोला कि ये क्लेम बहुत बार आता है और हर बार डिवाइडर ठोकता है क्योंकि इसका प्रॉब्लम है okay. क्योंकि बात करने से पता चलता है कि या इसका एक आंख हिलता ही नहीं एक ही हिलता है तो मैं बोला कि ये आर्टिफिशियल है हाँ वो आर्टिफिशियल है ये ओरिजिनल है इसीलिए तेरा बार बार डिवाइडर पे लग रहा है तो मेरा कहना ऐसा था कि आपके पास अभी ये चल रहा है तो ऐसा कुछ सिस्टम होना चाहिए कि आपको ड्राइवर का इन्वेस्टिगेशन करते समय आप कोई एक डॉक्टर को फ्रेंचाइजी करके उसका आंख पर भी टेस्ट करके उस नहीं कर सकते तो ठीक है तो नहीं हाँ डिवाइडर को लग रहा है सर आप डिवाइडर को लग रहा है कल वो बच्चे के ऊपर भी डाल सकता है किसी रोड पेडेस्ट्रीन को भी डाल सकता है इट शुड बी स्टॉप्ड समवेयर मेरा और सेल्फ डिक्लेयर अभी इसीलिए मैं रेटिना का जोड़ दिया रेटिना में क्या होता है कि एक फोकस में ही वो देख सकता है इट इज ए हाफ हो गया रेटिना में कैसे होता है ये रेडियस लार्जर भी नहीं देख सकता है वो ऐसा देखना पड़ेगा तभी उसको दिखता है तो और सेल्फ डिक्लेरेशन वो बोल दिया कि मैं ओके हूं और उसको लाइसेंस भी मिल जाएगा लेकिन रोड रिस्क बहुत ज्यादा है वो ऐसा ही देखेगा और एक्सीडेंट होते रहेगा और जैसे ऑनलाइन सिस्टम आने लग गया अब चाहे दिल्ली में आपका शुरू हो गया है साइबर कैफे बैठ के आप ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस की कैस दो ठीक है क्या उसकी वैलिडिटी है अभी तो कोर्ट में चैलेंज हो गया वो चीज
with the help of the either uh, ISRA or some or both of the agencies, we can recommend the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways to have uh, testing at the RT office as can be suggested. You can gather the information, driver information. ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा जितने नाम पे क्लेम्स हैं ड्राइवर का, वो इंश्योरेंस कंपनी से कनेक्ट करके, वो उस कर सकते हैं तो वो अच्छी भी। कैसा है? I have tried for last five years to get the information of how many vehicles the fire claim has been given. I have write to the insurance companies, I have written to the manufacturers, I have written to the dealers, I have written to the fire brigade. New information has been. जो तेरे जब एमिशन हमारे इधर है ना ट्रेड सर्टिफिकेट में जो ट्रेड सर्टिफिकेट में बहुत सारा एक ही ड्राइवर का नाम आते रहता है तो वो थोड़ा सा अवॉइड हो जाएगा जो फेक रहता है एक्चुअली ट्रेड सर्टिफिकेट में जो Yes, good evening everyone. I am Dr. Malini. I work for an Iranian company called Victory Intelligence. That's only of my Godfather's blessings, Mr. Shashidha from Shashidha Security. Valid added to the security agencies. Uh, since most of the people they keep blaming the uh, security people, security guards, right? On that part, as we have taken initiative, I have been working with many companies. For example, uh, we do the third party access of the camera surveillance. The complete access will be there in my office. We will be monitoring the company, right? 24 by 7, where my people will be working for free shift. So, in this, what has happened was there was always a blame on the security guard. So, we have identified the staff involvement in that. For example, there's a very big company where I, I won't be able to expose the company name. Uh, the, uh, the people who are working there, the, in fact, almost all the manufacturing unit, big, big uh, machineries, costing around 15 uh, crores, 20 crores. The person who's working there is supposed to just walk for 200 meters towards the hand for the lunch. What the bugger does is he just wash the hand in the machine. He spit in the machine. So many things are happening, which is actually the staff involvement. These things we have identified when it comes to the security agencies. And that we call the third party access. And we have done it most of the companies and I am still doing it 24 bar 7 in my company. In my company. So, wherever it is required, people can definitely suggest for this. Anyone can do, any agent can do for that matter. But still, to adding a value to the security agencies, they are the best. Especially the person who, who is actually guiding me. Thank you. Thanks. Lecture or in your speech is a new box of money. You know, I have to tell you this is a new opportunity for a different person. The similar way, what the investigators are telling you about this investigation, it is a new open for you also. And this is a way for you in the office. Thank you very much. I think to add to what you can to add to uh, what Dr. Manini was saying, see these days the security scenario has come to such a level where if you can, <coughs> I can give an example of an ADM security guard. Now, why should there be an ADM security guard? This is what I, D.P. Shankar, formulated in I think 2007-2008 and then once again in 2016 I raised this issue. And after that we were able to give uh, electronic monitoring for that particular subject. See, when there is a robbery of the ATM, there is a shutter which guards the ATM, majority of the things there is a shutter. And there is a camera already, but we made that camera two-way. And we made that easily. And we made the, the central monitoring center, where it remotely monitor all the ATMs and whenever there is a jeep, we address that particular ATM where the incident has occurred by saying that, aap hume आप चोरी कर रहे हो, आप इस तरह इस एरिया में हो, होटल कैपिटल ये एटीएम नंबर ये में आप चोरी कर रहे हो, आप पहले ये बटन दो, and with that only you were able to like avoid it and do lot of things. That is one of the main reasons why you don't see security guards in the security या the ATMs these days. So that was one of those things which we did in 2016. It has already they come to uh, such a level that these days we hardly see any security guards in the ATMs. Dr. Nath, I have a question for you. Mr. How the artificial intelligence in affairs, sorry, I have a problem. Uh, how the artificial intelligence is a threat or is a good for you in a security? Sir, I have a lot of behind the gun, there 
has to be person who is good. Should. Should. So for everything there has to be something. Now just by putting, I gave an example earlier, just by putting a monitor or a TV <coughs> camera, you can't solve it. It is just a deterrent. That's it. And you can always say certain words in the majority of the things that you are in the CCTV server. It's just for the deterrent. It is just a beware of law. So it is like that. So gun hair, let you know, trigger put connect to the name. So we need somebody to monitor it and make sure that that is done in a proper way. Similarly, artificial intelligence comes into the fore where, see, a person, one person, for example, in a monitoring center, what happens is, eight hours duration of both hours come from. So every two hours, I have to give them 15-20 minutes break. Why? Because you can't see monitor every time and he'll go blind or something like that. So all these things has to be put in perspective. Now the artificial intelligence also helps me. I told you one thing, say, this thing about this ATM camera BB. So see, there will be a beep in front of a big monitor wherein there are about 100 monitors and 100 ATM things are being displayed. In one monitor, there is a beep. Red beep is coming, which means there is some incident happening. Now, with the artificial intelligence, that uh, recording which I told you that are on the all on that, can be recorded and put, and the first initial thing will go there. If that is repeated second time, then a supervisor will come into the effect. And if that is repeated third time, then my QRT team, quick response team will be there, informed immediately, and the two supervisors will start monitoring that issue. One will be monitoring on the TV, one will be monitoring on the uh, vehicle which is going there. So all these things are happening now, as we speak. Huh. Before COVID, I can give you one more company as an example. We were giving 80 cards in that uh, software company. Let me not tell the company's name because my competitors are also <laughs> uh, What happened there were 80 people there. So from 80, we were reduced to 80. Now, during that uh, thing, we started thinking, huh, we start one local medical the next time. So, what, what we do with that? Now, we had to uh, scan uh, the temperature of the uh, person who is entering that building, all that, and my guard will be affected if we do that. We came across so many things. But we tell you what, we gave a solution in such a way, instead of 80, and instead of 8 people we employ and nobody is there, and instead of this, we employ only 2 people and nobody is there in the building, we'll be able to manage. See, this I had seen it in South Africa in 1998. It is such that you don't have to do anything. For example, this is the building. Why do you need security guard to guard this building if no, no activity is happening? Only through uh, in and exit and uh, uh, in and outdoors, there will be movements. So how do you monitor it? Just a trigger. A small flick. If the door is open, the circuit is open. So the server will come. So that technology we use in uh, that building. And you were able to reduce from A to B. Okay, probably motion sensor we use. Correct, correct. Something like that. So we use the technology and we use the available technology and we started using the artificial intelligence just now. Whether the thumb impression is there for attendance, but thumb impression is not there for many other things. So we said you can't use thumb impression because of the COVID restrictions these days. So what do we do with that? So how do we go about it? So we started getting patient recognition cameras. We started adopting. Uh, such tools and softwares. Believe me, software is another thing which will change. Uh, but maybe now it is reduced the back wall, is it? Yes. Yes. It, is, it, is, it is reduced. But then I don't think it is a good point. I'll tell you what, it is good actually. I told you 34,000 rupees take home salary. Well, you see that every day, but it was 16,000 rupees take home salary before COVID. Now, after COVID, 34,000 rupees. Now, जो बंदा दो बंदा एक जो काम कर रहा था वो एक बंदा तीन काम तीन लोगों का काम हमारे राइट सो इट्स समथिंग लाइक तो माय क्वेश्चन इस तो सासन सर एज यू सेड कि आर एंड डब्ल्यू एंड जीवी डब्ल्यू वास इंक्रीज बाय 15 परसेंट इन आवर इंश्योरेंस क्लेम्स अर्लीयर व्हेन द वेकल वास फाउंड ओवरलोड बाय 10 परसेंट � uh, reject the claim because of overloading and the uh, rationale behind it was that after 10% of loading, the vehicle lose stability and uh, shifting of uh, center of gravity and uh, it, is, it will become more prone to accidents. 
So now after increasing the 15% of RBW and give it whether the technical aspect were taken into the consideration? The decision has been taken at the ministry level by taking the consent of all the transport ministers, transport secretaries, and the opinion of the testing agencies. And one more data they have taken into account. How many overloading cases are being happening throughout the state, throughout the country? And approximately how many are being reported? Yeah, how many have been reported? They have got the figure. And they have assessed these are many reported, but it's a whole jada of the area. So instead of only finding the people by discussion with the uh, associations, they have given relief for uh, carrying the uh, allowable overloading material. Uh, the other thing, there was some technical issues with the uh, transporter also because of the capacity of 9,300, <coughs> the payload and the package of 10 tons is required to be transported. So that practical problems has also been uh, solved by this. Uh, my appeal, if you have got that data, that one turn or two turn uh, overloading has been affecting the accident, then it can also be shared. But normally, the small amount of overloading is uh, not uh, being affected. The normal uh, the capacity has, carrying capacity, the factor of safety, what the company designed. Uh, they have to go to the hospital and go to the so, this means the factor of safety is two times, three, two and a half times. So, 50% more loading is not going to be done. So, if you have any data, you can share it so that the government can take the proper decisions. Thank you, sir. I, in this regard, in fact, before 89, in our commercial weekly, we used to write the registered trader and uh, unladen weight. In fact, the unladen weight was the air cases weight which the manufacturer is giving. And engine has a capacity to take a load, which included the cases, body, and the load also. In 89, this change was, according to me and my analysis and my inquiries, this change was brought because if engine is overloaded, then it is bound to emit uh, pollution. This you can verify that even if you see a uh, uh, good loading, good loading means as prescribed, rising on a slope, then if you see the emission, you will find the dark uh, exhaust. Yes, that means it is polluting. So the overloading limit of the gross vehicle or gross vehicle weight was from the angle of pollution. So if you allow 15%, 20%, you are bound to get pollution on that. But the vehicles are getting much higher uh, overloaded. That is one aspect. Now, this is in the case of goods carry vehicle. How do we check the same thing in case of uh, passenger vehicles? Because uh, luxury buses have very heavy seats and uh, even the body is... Uh, how do we do we know? If you see the link here, they do mention for six passengers, but they simultaneously mention the weight also. So they consider the average weight of a person is like 60 or 70. How do we do it in the case of passengers? If, if, if that is not uh, defined. By merely writing the passengers, it doesn't define. And we have to definitely consider that the engine is appropriately loaded, not overloaded, whether by passenger, whether by body, or whether by goods. Number one. And second part is, in my personal opinion, the pollution checking system is incorrect. How is it incorrect? We are checking the pollution in a stationary vehicle. And it is stationary, idle running. Now the same vehicle, brand new vehicle will not show any pollution. But if it is overloaded, 
then it is going to pollute. So the pollution checking system also needs to be uh, reconsidered. These are the two aspects. Uh, we, we, your thoughts and your luxury also. Uh, I, I will explain, I will answer the second question first. Uh, we all, we all, all of us might have been heard of Volkswagen case. And from that Volkswagen case, the India has also come forward for onboard diagnosis system, OBD. So, BS6 is having OBD2. It means if there is a pollution uh, emission, it will automatically show on the dashboard. This is one system. And uh, second one, uh, regarding the uh, overloading, uh, the government has been deciding to have same system of putting uh, sensing bar uh, with the suspension system but ये कभी होगा वो अभी तक बता नहीं सकते complete third third one what you say आपको दुआ दुआ भी दिखेगा नहीं because the system has been modified in such way that the particulate matter will absorb inside the silent solution बी एस फोर बी एस थ्री से वो कैटलिक है ना ATM. Say catalytic converter will convert the petrol vehicles pollution, lead, and other noise mass. In diesel, it is the count is for the particulate matter. Suta ka hai small, thingy bolte ho, sparky. So uska hota hai. Usme bhi kuch limitations lay hue hai. Iske liye usme controls. Um, almost, we if we consider the BS6 vehicle, almost 40 vehicles ka pollution jo raega, wo, wo ka 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 Itna standard uh, not the the Yeah. Uh, sir, I will uh, conclude this session after an quote uh, from the Supreme Court judgment. Like we were uh, discussing the validity of driving license. कि अगर ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस एक्सपायर है या वैलिड नहीं है तो क्या वो क्लेम देना चाहिए तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट का एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग जजमेंट है उन्होंने ये ऑब्जर्व किया है कि ड्राइविंग इज एन आर्ट एक ये एम एस के केस में ये दिया हुआ है ये जजमेंट कि एक बार जो आदमी ड्राइविंग सीख जाता है थ्रू आउट द लाइफ अगर वो ड्राइविंग भूलेगा नहीं ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस होना ऑनली सर्टिफाई कि ये ड्राइव कर सकता है लेकिन उसके पास आर्ट है ड्राइविंग और लाइसेंस अगर वैलिड नहीं है इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि वो ड्राइविंग भूल गया तो इसके लिए वो क्लेम जो है वो पेबल होना चाहिए और उन्होंने लास्ट में ये भी लिखा है कि दिस केस कैन नॉट बी टेकन एज साइटेशन इट इज नॉट रिपोर्टेबल और इसको ये जजमेंट जो है वो इसी केस के लिए है अब उन्होंने उस केस में क्या लिखा दैट आई डोंट नो लेकिन उन्होंने ड्राइविंग को एक आर्ट का जो है डेफिनेशन दिया और वो केस को इंश्योरेंस कंपनी को पे करने के लिए कहा तो ऐसे जजमेंट्स हमारे पास आते रहते हैं और हम उसको देखते हैं कि ये जो कोर्ट है या जो ऐसे फोरम्स है उनका उस टाइम क्या थिंकिंग होता है तो अल्टीमेटली हमने देखा कि उसका पूरा सिंपति जो है वो विक्टिम की तरफ होता है तो जनसंख्या पहले वन मंथ का ग्रेस पीरियड में अगर डेट ऑफ लॉस नहीं गिरता था तो रिन्यू करके लाओ क्लेम लेके जाओ ऐसा कर रहे थे तो अभी जो अमेंडमेंट है उसके बाद में वो भी नहीं रहेगा यस एक्सपायरी ऑफ द एक्सपायरी ऑफ द लाइसेंस विल बी द एप्लीकेट हैज टू रिन्यू द लाइसेंस बिफोर द डेट ऑफ एक्सपाय Thank you, sir. Thanks for being here. Sir, instead of the CC, along with the CCT, I suggest we should have a fabulous alarm, a siren, as well as front light. This will make the front light to run away.
That is called as motion sensor light. Motion sensor light. Yes, we are talking about the depth of the wind. Flat light. It's a flat light. As soon as we see the flat light, it is a color. We have already adopted. I am. I share with you. There is a small device which is now available in the market for an AS five hundred seven hundred rupees. This is very fine. It is not claiming that you will keep it in your car. You, you can just leave it in your car. You can use it for your bag also. You can use for your children going to school and put it in their pocket. So if they have just walked away at an unknown place, you will be able to drive. I'll get that device tomorrow. There is a fencing facility. If children are going out, they are going out from the boundary. So you can beat them. Before, yes, all these facilities that like, there are models of it. So these are beneficial, not costly. You can use it, start using it for the future. But but the uh, every device has got its limited life. जब भी उसको मालूम हो जाता है सामने वाले को या ऐसा काम करता है, तो फिर उसका इंटीग्रेशन समझ जाता है. Uh, now, LME can drive Ola over like uh, vehicles, okay? New amendment, only LME can drive uh, tourist, 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 the app policy uh, of the record. Jo business app is to karna hai, work karne ke liye government ne unko kuch regulations banana hai. But these companies do not want to follow that regulations. That why in almost many of the state they have been not recognized. So you mean what story? What story? What story? Just. Yeah. Yes. Second, uh, the uh, yellow fee, the class is yellow fee. Driver's class is yellow fee. That licenses class is yellow fee. If the definition of yellow fee that vehicle is pretty, the claim is valid. As for the Marvel case. Yellow fee includes tax. Thank you so much, everybody, all investigators here at the dais. Artificial intelligence about ATM and the Bhaiyankar sir and Kali ma'am, whatever she has done, it was a really nice information. Sasani sir has given excellent information on RTO front, overloading system, vehicle, and the pollution control machine. Chand Bhatia sir has given MSCG and device tracking device. In the morning, Kutti sir has spoken about matrimonial and other investigations. So I thank you all here and uh, I would ask uh, uh, Shankar sir to give a word of thanks. Thank you everybody. And if you have more questions, you can share with the Jaga sir. Tomorrow I will not be there. But I will try to uh, send the questions to put on APQ. Well, good evening friends. Uh, I thought uh, the session uh, will not be so long, but yes, with, the co with all your cooperation, we have crossed 6 o'clock and the patients. And especially after the lunch, I was thinking that uh, some of us will uh, try and you know, like, try to get it overnight. overnight, but that also didn't happen, which means that the session was uh, amazing, which means that the session was interesting which means that we all want to learn, we all want to upskill ourselves so that we can upgrade in whatever things we are doing. And uh, I would request uh, Siddhita Moreji to tell us what time we should all come here.